Hello and welcome back to JMeter Sessions. Uh, today we are going to see a different kind of concept. Uh, this one is for a single page application. Uh, till now we have seen multi pages application or a traditional web application. This one is not like a traditional web application. This is a single web application. So it will function only on a single page. Okay, the site which we will be using for this single page application is a music website developed in AngularJS. This one has been taken from github.io and we will look at the site. So the site looks like this and uh, you have to select, there are two albums, test albums. You have to select both the albums from here and then you just play randomly. So it plays the sound and you can shuffle, you can change any of the music, you can go forward or you can pause, you can pause. So I have done uh, various actions with this site and recorded those using the HTTP recorder available in JMeter. You can see my HTTP recorded actions over here. And these are the recorded actions and I have put a view results in tree let's clear this one and I will show you how this one executes it is nothing uh, different than the regular uh, multi page application but it just to show you how a single page application uh, we can test with JMeter so let's start I have recorded this I have put uh, a view results tree and uh, we will have a look at few of the requests so this is the first request in this uh, it takes the server name as angular.github.io and the path has this one then the second request I'm just taking a few sample requests to start with second request is a blue.mp3 file that has been played third request is a jazz.mp3 file and Next request is mini malish mp3. Similarly, these slower.mp3 and mini malish again. So, I am just uh, mixing and matching uh, songs on that side. And what it does is it does not go to a different side, it loads the uh, song on the same side. So, this is what is called a, a single page application. And let's see the results now. Once we run it, I have put a view results tree over here and I run this thing it runs fine but let's see uh, uh, just to let you know that in the thread group I have put 10 threads and 2 loop counts so it will iterate for 20 20 iterations and uh, if you go into the view results tree the our test run is still running time to finish now so soon it will be done okay finally our test run has completed and these are the test results so we can see any of the sampler result just uh, take a sampler result randomly and let's see what we get so this one has a response code of 200 and ok just like we saw in our earlier cases this one also has a 200 response code let's go with a different set yeah here so here we get a 206 response code which is partial content let's see what this response code means on the net
okay the net says that this code is similar to 401 but indicates that the client must must authorize uh, rather let's uh, have a look at this one sorry yeah okay uh, what this one says is the server is successfully fulfilling a range request for the target resource by transferring one or more parts of the selected representation that correspond to the satisfiable ranges found in the request range header field so it is transferring partial content that's what it means by 206 which also it indicates in its title so uh, when we play any song or when we uh, pause it when we go to the next song it is just uh, it just sends a partial request to the server that's what this this thing means so uh, that's what uh, 206 uh, code indicates and let's look into further details most SPAs tend to be JavaScript in intensive as JMeter isn't a web browser JavaScript embedded in a page or included from a separate file uh, that uh, won't be executed. So what this means is JMeter cannot accurately measure page load times or page uh, or browser DOM rendering. It can however record any calls made to the server from JavaScript JavaScript files and it can play back when test is re-executed. So this is what is a single page application. It differs uh, with the traditional web applications in certain aspects but most of the things are same it just operates on a single page and I have just shown you how to record a single page application with HTTP recorder and uh, I have shown you a sample test uh, for a sample music site you can do similar things uh, if you have any single page applications uh, in your project thank you